I am Judge Stevens, and this is Barnabas. We want to meet with Arius. Yes, yes, welcome. Uh, did you see that? She didn't recognize me. It seems to be true. You wait right here. Here to see you. What's the matter, Marie? Why are you so flustered? My God, it's unbelievable. There is a man with them who looks exactly like the man in this portrait. Hmm. This, this has been destroyed. See, more proof. What is it doing here? It, this wasn't here. It didn't look like this. He is trying to deceive us. There was a garden here. Yes, this has changed. Let's go. But many people look alike, my girl. You shouldn't be so shocked. No. It was not a slight likeness. I recognized him. His sculpture wasn't here. I don't know what he's saying here. They just wait. Your Highnesses. Yes, it's true. He looks like that portrait. It's him. <sighs> Didn't I tell you I saw him? Didn't I tell you? All right, all right, Father Furus. Welcome, gentlemen. Please come in. Please welcome. Who is the owner of this residence? I would appreciate it if you'd answer any questions he might have, Arius. I will explain what is going on to you later. Oh, God. I am the owner. What now? How did you come to own this house? I inherited it from my father. And he from his father's. Hmm. Where did you get this portrait? You can see that it's me. A portrait of you? Yes. No, sir. It's true that it looks like you. 
But this is a portrait of one of my ancestors, Maximilian. And from what we know, he was martyred during the Hadrian era. Where was he killed? He is one of the seven famous martyrs of the terrifying cave of Angelos. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, Maximilian, the advisor in Diocletian's court. Who are you, sir? I've seen you twice today. I myself don't know. What is the point of telling you? Who can believe me when I myself don't know who I am or where I am? I'm not even certain of my own existence. But, dear God, what have you done with us? Are you not Maximilian? What are you saying, Father Ferus? I had a dream that he was reborn and came toward me from a cave. Father Ferus. Can we judge and decide based on our dreams? We are trying to determine this man's identity. Will this one portrait and your dream convince us? Did you say you're not Helen? No, sir. I am Marie. And this man is my grandfather. If you are not Helen, then where is my Helen? Helen! Helen! Akmit! Galus! Where are you? Help me! Rescue me from this plight! From this confusion! From this dilemma! Help me! I don't know whether what I am seeing is the truth or not. Tell me what's happened to me and to you. Tell me if what I am seeing is a horrifying nightmare or a sweet dream. <laughs> Helen, Ekmit, Galu, and all you Christians who have deserted me. We sacrificed our lives to save you, so why have you abandoned us? <laughs> Tell me it isn't true. <laughs> Tell me that I am still sleeping. They're, they're telling me that I lost you hundreds of years ago. Uh, why am I still so bereaved after such a long time? <laughs> I only left you for one night. Tell me how one night last 300 years. <laughs> Helen? Mekmit? Galus? Come back. Come back, come back and see that the gods are dead. The gods are dead and so are the tyrant godlike emperors. Come back and see that the one and only God has prevailed over the idols, and that the oppressed monotheists have prevailed over the crowned tyrants. Come back and see that faith and love for the Creator are everlasting. Come see that God's promise has been fulfilled and idol worship has been eliminated with the light of faith is shining everywhere. Now tell me if I am to holler at your loss or whether I am to celebrate the victory of my fellow believers. Can you hear? <laughs> what our Lord Christ said would one day come true. What I tell you in darkness, 
You must repeat in daylight. And what is whispered in your ear, you must shout from the rooftops. That is a verse which has been underlined in the Bible. I have read it many times, but I never fully understood what it meant until now. It was me who underlined it. And I believe I and my friends were reborn to understand the meaning of this verse and to witness how right prevails over wrong. How have you seen the Bible that is in my home? Who are you, sir? Come with me, Arius. to be a stone door here, instead of this door. Is this true? Yes. How do you know? A light, a light, a torch. This is a secret passageway. Marie, bring the torch. Do whatever he tells you, Arios. a secret room in this passageway of yours. Secret? No, you don't know. No one knows. Nobody knows but me and Galus. Hold this, please. this stone. Please, be a little patient. Wait here.
I'm sure you didn't know about this painting either. This is a portrait of my wife, Helen. Helen Maximilian's wife. You two look very alike, don't you? Yes, very. It's unbelievable. Are you really Maximilian? Should I believe that you are my ancestor? From the moment I awoke, I realized that a very unusual incident had taken place. But I did not know that incident would be so bizarre and difficult to understand. I believe that the story of the prophet Ezra has reoccurred. The prophet, who wanted to know how God brings the dead back to life. God revived him after a 100-year slumber, in order to show him how the dead are resurrected. You were asleep in that cave for 300 years, and you didn't know it yourself. Maximilian, what do you think the meaning of this sleep was? We always asked ourselves how God would make believers victorious over tyranny, ignorance, and idol worship, and how he would overpower dualism. And now I am hearing them say that God has imposed his faith even on the emperor. Isn't this what we were seeking? <laughs> <laughs> Are you my great ancestor? <laughs> Are you this elderly and white haired man, my son? <laughs> I don't fully understand what's happened, but I believe you are, Maximilian. I have seen you many times in my dreams. It's strange. Helen used to dream often. My Erkmid. My poor Helen. I wish you were here to see how her dreams have come true. Ergmit died almost 250 years ago. <laughs> and Helen died 20 years after your departure. <laughs> she was buried at the foot of Mount Angelos. <laughs> at the foot of Mount Angelos? Yes. The grave that is beneath the tree. <laughs> yes, Marie planted that tree there several years ago in her grandmother's memory. It's strange. <laughs> so the very first thing I saw after waking <laughs> was Helen's grave.
I wish we hadn't let Maximilian go. I'm worried for him. Don't worry, it's still not too late. He said that if he did not return by sunset, he would not return at all. He told us to wait until morning. What if they've captured him? If so, there is nothing we can do. Only God can help him. Any news? No. Friends, as soon as Maximilian returns, we must leave here. I'm sure Diocletian has already spread the word everywhere. So there's no city that's safe for us. Instead of all this speculating, let's think about what we're going to do about our hunger. <laughs> there is nothing we can do but to withstand it all until Maximilian returns. Apparently Diocletian died before Helen passed away. Hmm. What events took place in the span of one slumber? Maximilian. Since the era of Hadrian, more than 40 emperors have risen and fallen. Over 100 years ago, Emperor Constantine converted to Christianity, and after that, the date was converted to the Christian calendar. Idol worship has been eliminated, and the temples have been destroyed. Such great emperors, so simple and so short. In the span of one sleep, God made the dreams of the likes of me come true while we slept. God forgive us for losing our patience and for complaining and asking questions out of ignorance. I must return to the cave. My friends are hungry and are awaiting my return. I must give them news of what has happened. Please be patient, Maximilian. Let us inform Theodosius of what is going on. Theodosius? Yes. The governor of Philadelphia. There are many things going on in this city that will be much affected by your awakening. I tried very hard not to believe his words. But I couldn't. He has a great deal of proof and evidence. There is no doubt in my mind that he's telling the truth. Also, he has shown us irrefutable evidence and looks identical to the portrait of Maximilian. What are you saying, Barnabas? If I didn't know, I would doubt your wisdom. And if I didn't know you, I would give you the kind of response that you deserve. At my age, it does not befit me to ridicule myself in both public and private circles. I believe him, incredible or not. <laughs> if true, this is undoubtedly a blessing from God, who is providing us with substantial proof. These are clear signs from the God Almighty. I don't know what's happened to their common sense. Will the ailing hearts of people like Hercules be awakened? <laughs> I don't believe so. Mm. Mm. This reviving of the dead is undoubtedly the miracle that we have been asking God for. It is an example of the revival and rebirth of body and soul. 
this magnificent occurrence will help eradicate doubt regarding the afterlife from the hearts of the pure and pious. And this is certainly how God brings the dead back to life. I hope that this is the case. Will you allow me to present the tablet pertaining to the martyrs of the cave? I would appreciate it. I cannot tolerate this. When will these superstitions come to an end? Where did they find this person? I don't know. They will soon make gods out of them. Theodosius will kneel down before them and will force us to obey those peasants as well. That will never happen. We can't even know the story of the Cave of Angelos is true. They have lost their minds. You are very quiet, Maximilian. Say something. I'm too ashamed to speak. I feel so ashamed for not being able to give thanks for all of these divine blessings. Which blessings, Maximilian? The blessing of being released from my prison. Time has stopped for me and can no longer prevent me from seeing and thinking properly. I can now fully understand these historical events, but understanding the truth is difficult for you. Who are these people? I don't know. It's best we attend the meeting so we can find out what's going on. I agree. Let's go. Let's go. So Arius and his guests have arrived. Please, please. So, you're the divine blessing that God's bestowed on us. He is not alone. Six of his companions are in the cave. You mean your companions are awake? They have also been reborn. Yes, everyone's awake. But... This is impossible. Nothing is impossible when it comes to divine power, Sir Hercules, unless you do not believe in God. Which is harder to believe? How God created Hercules, 
from a clot of congealed blood, or a sleep lasting several centuries. Sir Hercules, what's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Answer the question. Greetings, your highnesses. Maximilian, would you please repeat the names of your friends? Iovanis Sudinanus Dinasius Telmica Martinus and Antonius the yes, Shepherd. Yes, yes. Hmm. Please notice that it has been inscribed here. These are the names of Maximilian's companions. It's strange. How is this possible? How have you survived so long without food? How is it possible that your bodies have not decayed against the rocks in over 300 years? I don't know. Only he who watched over us knows. Perhaps they died and God protected their bodies and brought them back to life like Ezra the prophet. Instead of all these maybes, let's tell the people about the miracle that has occurred. This is a miracle that will put an end to the skepticism and arguments pertaining to the afterlife. If people could be humbled by miracles such as this, no one would ever have doubted the prophets. What you're saying is right about those who are biased, but the truth seekers are not few in number. You are unaware of how bold the deniers of resurrection are, and how they browbeat the believers with their unfounded arguments. Your story will silence skeptics. Wouldn't it be better if we bring your friends into the city and show the people that the men of the cave have been reborn? Why should we bring them to the city? Let the people go to the cave and see for themselves how God brings the dead back to life. Let them witness the end of the terrifying cave story. Have the heralds announced that we will be... Heading to the cave in the morning. Is it not better that we send a messenger to Rome to inform the Pope about what has happened? Yes, that must be done. You take care of this. Yes, sir. Come with me. I must return to the cave tonight if your highness Theodosius will allow me. Why is that? My friends are both hungry and are worried about me. And they have no idea what has taken place. And if they see the crowds gathering, they might be frightened and try to flee. Flee? Why would they flee? Why are they afraid of the people? Huh. It seems you have forgotten that we are fugitives. We are on the run from Hadrian and Diocletian. <laughs> <laughs> if necessary, I will send several guards with you. Thank you very much. Marie and I will travel with him also. Yes, yes. Tonight, sleep will evade the people of the city. You go ahead, and we will meet you very early in the morning at Mount Angelos. Thank you, Your Highness. Let's go. Hearken all, you must know and be aware that the martyrs of the Cave of Angelos have been reborn. The martyrs of the Cave of Angelos have been reborn. The martyrs of the Cave of Rakim have been reborn. Hearken all, you must know. The martyrs have been reborn. The martyrs of the Cave of Angelos have been reborn. 
His Highness Theodosius will go to the cave early in the morning. Whoever would like to join him must be prepared to travel at dawn. The martyrs have been reborn. The martyrs of the cave of Rakim have been reborn. His Highness Theodosius will travel to the cave early in the morning. I hope nothing bad will happen to him, God willing. If he is captured, I'm sure he'll be stoned to death. If you pray to God for his good health, he will surely return safely. I have forgotten my hunger. I wish he had not gone. I don't know how much we slept last night, but we don't seem at all in need of sleep. saying then, but I understand it all now. She dreamt that I was reborn. She saw you in her dream as well. What are you thinking about, Father? I'm thinking about who I truly am. It's true that I've not died, but the people of my era have all died. I have come to a period that is not mine. Helen, my loyal and kind wife, is dead. My young son, Erkmi, died 250 years ago. All of my friends and foes are dead. Hadrian. Diocletian, Julius. Wow, how effortlessly time took their lives, and we slept through it. The heavy carriage of time has passed with thundering hooves, all of that stress and worry, the love and hatred, the friendships and enemies, the torture and imprisonment, all of those armies and palaces and those gods and emperors. How ridiculous. Everything is gone. All I can see is defeat. All of them have been subdued by the might of the one and only. No one has the power to resist or oppose him. If we look at all those who beat the drums of war against God and pronounced themselves gods on earth, they are nothing but ridiculous clowns and poor imbeciles who are controlled by God despite all their antics and opposition, but they are unaware of it themselves. These were the things we dreamt of witnessing. I understand. What did you dream of witnessing then? We asked God to show us the defeat of those people in power who fought against God's everlasting might and he showed it to us so beautifully. We slept for so long. It's morning. You haven't slept at all. Hmm. I... I only just woke up from sleep. I just woke up.
of the disadvantages of a long life is that you will have to witness the death of your loved ones. Initially, it was me who was prepared for death. And I never thought you would leave before me. I know that I have come too late, but it was not my fault. I only lay my head down for a night's sleep and all else was the will of God. <laughs> a night which lasted 300 years. It makes no difference to God whether it was a day, a month, a year, a century, or a thousand years, Helen. All these 300 years were just one night for God. And with his permission, it became one night for me as well. A night for you which destroyed the idols of the era. When I woke up, everything had changed, everything but you. Marie looks exactly like you. I feel as if you have lived these 300 years too, so you could witness all these changes with me. Do you remember, Helen? There was a time when even speaking the name of the one and only God was a crime. But now speaking the name of the gods of Rome is a crime. Our fellow believers lived through such hardship and turmoil. Today they are free and at peace. And one of the advantages of a long life is that you can bear witness to the victory of good and the defeat of evil. Now that I can look back at the events over a longer period of time, I can see clearly how God's promise of victory is fulfilled. Maximilian, your friends are worried about you. I know. But leaving Helen is difficult. I don't know how I will go on living without her and her me. Without doubt, God will continue to bestow his blessings upon you. Let's go. Is it, Kidmir? The guards! Your Highness says, the guards! What is it? Guards. Be careful. The mountain hasn't been surrounded. Thankfully, there are only a few guards. We can escape from the other side. So, what happened to Maximilian? Uh, he's there. He's climbing up. So, why didn't they arrest him? Maximilian, it's you. What's happened? Are you all right? Don't worry. Nothing has happened. The guards! The guards! They're behind you! Have you seen them? They're on our side. Don't worry. 
All right. One of you come here and help us. That's very strange. I will go. Your Highness, what's the meaning of this? I hope they're not using him as bait. Maybe they're on our side. We were worried about you, so Your Highness. I was worried as well. Your Highness, what's happened? What took you so long? Many things have happened. Wait until we arrive with our friends. Help us. Climbing is difficult for His Highness, Arius. Of course. Let's go. No, 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 wait. Let's go. Give me a moment. I'm very tired. Let's go. I must rest a little. I know. I know you have a lot of questions. And I have many answers that you will find incredible. But what are those guards at the foot of the mountain doing? They are friends of ours. Our friends? They are here to see us. What did you say? Friends of ours? Friends of ours? Yes, friends of yours. You have many friends that you do not know about. Greetings, Lady Helen. What are you doing here? You couldn't bear to stay behind, so you decided to join the fugitives? You look younger, Lady Helen. It seems as if you have been experiencing joy since yesterday, not pain. Uh, Come, uh, Grandfather, this uh, is the last step. Uh, <laughs> uh, All right, sit down. Uh, well done, Grandfather. You're the last to arrive. <laughs> Climbing a mountain like this at your age requires great determination, which is commendable. Greetings, my dears. Greetings to you. Greetings to you, saints. May God bless you. When you say saints, are you referring to us? It's strange. Yes, it's you, the men of God. Even you are unaware of that. Us? Maximilian, what is Lady Helen saying? <laughs> she knows very well what she's saying. It's you who do not. Why are you speaking in rhymes and riddles? What's going on? Let's go inside, so I can tell you. First, you must eat some food. Antonius, you go inside as well. All right. You wait here. It's best that we be left alone for a while. How will Maximilian tell them what's happened? I don't know.